What does this sign mean? Give way to oncoming vehicles. Approaching traffic passes you on both sides. Turn off at the next available junction. Pass either side to get to the same destination. Why do MO tests include an exhaust emission test? To recover the cost of expensive garage equipment. To help protect the environment against pollution. To discover which fuel supplier is used the most. To make sure diesel and petrol engines emit the same fumes. What should you do when you park a car facing downhill? Turn the steering wheel towards the curb. Park close to the bumper of another car. Park with two wheels on the curb. Turn the steering wheel away from the curb. You're driving on a motorway. What does it mean if the car in front shows its hazard warning lights for a short time? The driver wants you to overtake. The other car is going to change lanes. Traffic ahead is slowing or stopping suddenly. There's a police speed check ahead. The fluid level in your battery is low. What fluid should you use to top it up? Battery acid. Distilled water. Engine oil. Engine coolant. Your car needs to pass an MO test. What may be invalidated if you drive the car without a current MO certificate? The vehicle service record. The vehicle insurance. The vehicle tax. The vehicle registration document. What should you do if you overtake a cyclist when it's very windy? Overtake very slowly. Keep close as you pass. Sound your horn repeatedly. Allow extra room. Do you need to plan rest stops when you're planning a long journey? Yes, you should plan to stop every half an hour. Yes, regular stops help concentration. No, you'll be less tired if you get there as soon as possible. No, only fuel stops will be needed. You're about to reverse into a side road. What should you do if a pedestrian is waiting to cross behind your car? Wave to the pedestrian to stop. Give way to the pedestrian. Sound your horn to warn the pedestrian. Reverse before the pedestrian starts to cross. You've been driving in fog. What must you do when the visibility improves? Switch off your fog lights. Keep your rear fog lights switched on. Keep your front fog lights switched on. Leave your fog lights switched on in case the fog returns. What may help to deter a thief from stealing your car? Always keeping the headlights on. Fitting reflective glass windows. Always keeping the interior light on. Etching the registration number on the windows.
What does it mean if you see the signal on the motorway? Leave the motorway at the next exit. All vehicles use the hard shoulder. Sharp bend to the left ahead. Stop, all lanes ahead closed. What's the reason for traffic calming measures? To stop road rage. To make overtaking easier. To slow traffic down. To make parking easier. You lose control of your car and damage your garden wall. What must you do if the property owner isn't available? Report the incident to the police within 24 hours. Go back to tell the house owner the next day. Report the incident to your insurance company when you get home. Find someone in the area to tell them about it immediately. Why should you check the information leaflet before taking any medicine? Drug companies want customer feedback on their products. You may have to let your insurance company know about the medicine. Some types of medicine can affect your ability to drive safely. The medicine you take may affect your hearing. Which lights should you switch on when daytime visibility is poor but not seriously reduced? Headlights and fog lights. Front fog lights. Dipped headlights. Rear fog lights. You're waiting to emerge from a junction. The windscreen pillar is restricting your view. What should you be particularly aware of? Lorries. Buses. Motorcyclists. Coaches. You've driven up to a pelican crossing. What must you do while the amber light is flashing? Signal the pedestrian to cross. Always wait for the green light before proceeding. Give way to any pedestrians on the crossing. Wait for the red and amber light before proceeding. You need to top up your battery with distilled water. What level should you fill it to? The top of the battery. Halfway up the battery. Just below the cell plates. Just above the cell plates. At an incident, someone is suffering from severe burns. How could you help them? Apply lotions to the injury. Burst any blisters. Remove anything sticking to the burns. Douse the burns with clean, cool water. Where may you overtake on a one-way street? Only on the left-hand side. Overtaking isn't allowed. Only on the right-hand side. On either the right or the left. Who's legally responsible for ensuring that a vehicle registration certificate, V5C, is updated? The registered vehicle keeper. The vehicle manufacturer. Your insurance company. The licensing authority. Who's responsible for paying the vehicle tax? The driver of the vehicle. The registered keeper of the vehicle. The car dealer. The Driver and Vehicle Licensing Agency, DVLA. Why should drivers be more careful on roads where trams also operate? Because trams don't have a horn. Because trams can't stop for cars. Because trams don't have lights. Because trams can't steer to avoid obstructions. Where are amber reflective studs found on a motorway? Between the hard shoulder and the carriage way. Between the acceleration lane and the carriage way. Between the central reservation and the carriage way. Between each pair of lanes. Does this arm signal mean? The driver is slowing down. The driver intends to turn right. 
The driver wishes to overtake. The driver intends to turn left. Other than direction indicators, how can you give signals to other road users? By using brake lights. By using side lights. By using fog lights. By using interior lights. You're carrying two 13-year-old children and their parents in your car. Who's responsible for seeing that the children wear seat belts? The children's parents. You, the driver. The front seat passenger. The children. What's the legal minimum depth of dread for car tires? 1 mm. 1.6 mm. 2.5 mm. 4 mm. Where would you see this road marking? At traffic lights, on road humps, near a level crossing, at a box junction. You're driving on the motorway in windy conditions. What should you do as you overtake a high-sided vehicle? Increase your speed. Be wary of a sudden gust. Drive alongside very closely. Expect normal conditions. You're towing a caravan, which is the safest type of rear view mirror to use. Interior wide angle mirror. Extended arm side mirrors. Ordinary door mirrors. Ordinary interior mirror. You're traveling on a road that is road humps. What should you do when the driver in front is traveling more slowly than you? Sound your horn. Overtake as soon as you can. Flash your headlights. Slow down and stay behind. What should you do as you approach this overhead bridge? Move out to the center of the road before going through. Find another route, this one is only for high vehicles. Be prepared to give way to large vehicles in the middle of the road. Move across to the right-hand side before going through. What does this sign mean? Keyside or river bank? Steep hill down. Uneven road surface. Road liable to flooding. What does this sign mean? Hump bridge. Traffic calming hump. Low bridge. Uneven road. 